Illness anxiety disorder, which is sometimes called hypochondriasis, or a health anxiety that you are or may become seriously ill, and you may have no physical symptoms, or you may believe that uh, normal body sensations or minor symptoms are signs of serious severe illness, even tough as throw medical exam doesn't reveal a serious medical condition. You may also experience extreme anxiety that body sensations such as muscle twitching or fatigue are associated with specific serious illness. This excessive uh, anxiety rather than the physical symptoms itself results in severe distress that can disrupt your daily life. Illness anxiety disorder is a long-term condition that can fluctuate in severity. It may increase with age or duration or, or during uh, times of stress. But uh, psychological counseling like psychotherapy and sometimes medication can help to ease worries. Next slide we have DSM-5. The, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorder, Disorders, called DSM-5, published by American Psychiatric Association, no longer includes hypochondriasis, a previous term, also called uh, hypochondria as a diagnosis. Instead, people previously diagnosed with Hypochondriasis may be diagnosis, diagnosed as having illness anxiety disorder, in which uh, focus of the fear and worry is uncomfortable or unusual physical sensations being an indication of a serious medical condition. So, anxiety disorder, illness anxiety disorder, is the focus of the fear and worry. On the other hand, uh, somatic symptom disorder, a related disorder, involves focusing on a disabling nature of physical symptoms, such as pain or dizziness without the worry that these symptoms represent a specific illness. So, in illness anxiety disorder, there is more, more fear and worry on symptoms that doesn't exist and on somatic symptom disorder, focusing on disabling nature of physical symptoms. Definition. It is characterized by the patient's belief that he or she have uh, has some specific disease. Despite constant reassurance, the patient belief, uh, believes uh, remains the same. And symptoms must occur for more than six months. They are doing, doing multiple uh, check-ins for uh, doctors, multiple lab uh, assessment and tests Everything is okay, but they anyway are fearing and don't trust that everything is okay with them health. But statistic men and women have equal appearance of the disease. One set of age is 20 and 30 years old. Young men or women. Causes. The exact causes of uh, illness anxiety disorder isn't clear, but these factors may play a role. Like beliefs, patient may have difficult time tolerating uncertainty over uncomfortable or unusual body sensations. This could lead uh, you to misinterpret that all body sensations are serious. So, you search the evidence to confirm that you have a serious disease. Family, family, you may be more likely to have health anxiety if you had parents who worked uh, too much about their 
own health or your health. And past experience. You may have had the experience with serious illness in childhood, so physical sensations may be frightening you. Illness anxiety disorder risk factors usually begins in early or middle childhood and may get worse with age. Often for older individuals, health-related anxiety may focus on the fear of losing their memory. So risk factors for illness anxiety disorder may include a time of major life stress threat of a serious illness that turns out not to be serious, history of child abuse, a serious childhood illness or a parent with a serious illness. So childhood play a role, a major role in many cases. Personality traits such as having a tendency toward being a warrior and excessive health related internet use, searching on Google symptoms and trying to find some treatment by self. Now it's time for symptoms which involve preoccupation with, with the idea that you are seriously ill based on normal sensations such as noisy uh, stomach or minor signs like uh, such a minor rash. So being preoccupied with having or getting a serious disease or health condition, being preoccupied with this, worrying that minor symptoms or body sensations mean you have a serious illness, being easily alarmed about your health status, easily alarmed, finding little or no re reassurance from doctor visits or negative test results. So you are doing multiple tests who are repetitive, all of them are negative. You are going to the doctor, doctor doesn't detect anything abnormal on you. And anyway, you are, uh, you are not feeling complete with this. Worrying excessively about a specific medical condition or your risk of developing your, me your uh, medical condition because it runs in your family. Having so much distress about possible illnesses that it's hard for you to function. Repeatedly check your body for signs or illness or disease. Frequently making medical appointments for reassurance. Or avoiding medical care for fear of being diagnosed with a serious illness. Avoiding people, places where Activities for fear of health risks. Con constantly talk about your health and possible illness. And frequently searching the internet for cause of symptoms or possible illness. Complications. Relationship or family problems because of excessive worry. Work-related performance problems like or excessive absence from the working position. Problems uh, functioning in daily life. Financial problems due to excessive health care visits and medical bills. As in many countries, medicine is expensive. Having another mental health disorder such as Somatic symptom disorder, or, or other anxiety disorder, depression, or personality disorder. Expected duration: how long, how long time this disease can could be in reality. Illness anxiety disorder does not have a well-defined course. It can start any time in younger or middle adulthood. The disorder probably lasts longer in cases where the symptoms are severe and if the person has other psychiatric difficulties or vulnerabilities 
If symptoms have a more sudden onset and are associated with other medi medical but not psychiatric symptoms, the duration tend to be shorter. And the last one, experts who have noticed this disorder similarity with uh, obsessive compulsive disorder have found that it can help to prescribe obsessive compulsive disorder treatments such as SSRIs like fluoxetine and select which are or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or SNRIs which are selective norepinephrine reuptake uh, inhibitors like venlafaxine. There is evidence that a number of therapies can help people with illness anxiety disorder like cognitive behavioral therapy and stress management. Therapies teach us uh, distraction and relaxation techniques for patients and help patients focus less on their symptoms and talk instead about how stress, anxiety and depression increase their psychological discomfort. Reassurance is also helpful when the primary care doctor provides it in the context of thoughtfully uh, evaluating the physical uh, complaints, of course. Since the medical complaints may never go away, the doctor may set up a regular schedule of short appointments during which symptoms can be reviewed. So regular appointments to doctors and never negate symptoms too much and just trying to explain patient clearly why appear these symptoms and are they real or just warning one thank you very much for for watching hope this video is useful for you and helping have a great time